Hello Locker 7 and in today's video I have a beginner's guide to using BitLocker encryption to encrypt your hard drives, flash drives, or SD cards. So by the end of this video you should feel very comfortable with encrypting a hard drive, flash drive, or even an SD card. To do this we're going to need a program called BitLocker. Now BitLocker is a built-in feature into Windows. Unfortunately though it's not built into all versions only Windows 7 and Windows 8, and specific Windows 7 or 8 versions. The easiest way to find out if you have BitLocker installed on your computer is simply go to the control panel and type in BitLocker. If you see it there, you can click on it and continue off this video. If you don't, unfortunately, it's nothing you can really do unless you get a new version of Windows. Like I said before, this is an introductory video, so I'm going to go through the basics of using BitLocker. So what BitLocker will do is encrypt your hard drive or flash drive. This is going to prevent people who don't know the password to access the data. So if you encrypt your flash drive, when you plug it into your computer, it's going to ask you for the password. You type in the password, then you can access all the files very easily. If a person doesn't know the password, they can't access any of the files. Now you can pretty much use BitLocker to encrypt anything. Um, you can encrypt your operating system drive, which is where your, your Windows is installed. So what this will do is make you enter in a password besides your Windows login password to actually get the hard drive going. If you have a section called fixed data drives, this is a hard drive that's not Windows is installed on, but it is in your computer. So for me, it's my extra two terabyte hard drive. You can encrypt that as well. Removable dr data drives is things like flash drives or SD cards. You can encrypt those as well, make a bit locker to go. So I'm going to show you guys kind of pretty much how to encrypt something. But before I do that, I'm going to take you guys through a very common error. So you may go ahead and try to encrypt something, like by turning it on, and you may get this, this error right here, saying that the device is not a trusted platform module. Now there's a neat little trick you can do to kind of bypass this and go ahead and still encrypt the drive that you want. I'll show you how to do that very quickly right now. So what you want to do is hold down the Windows key on your keyboard, then press R on the keyboard while holding down the Windows key. When you do that, the run dialog is going to show up. You then you want to type in exactly what you see on the screen right now and click OK. Once you do that, this little local po group policy editor will show up. Simply expand it out a little bit so you can see everything nice and nicely. Then what you want to do is under computer configuration, uh, click on the folder that says administrative templates. Then go down to the Windows components and click on the little arrow again. Then click on BitLocker Drive Encryption, Operating System Drives, and then cl double click on Require Additional Authentication at Startup. What you can then do now is simply click the Enabled, make sure this is checked off, and you're good to go. Exit out, and now if you try and turn it on, you should be good to go. Now for things like a hard drive, you have a couple of different options. You can actually insert a USB flash drive. So you have a special flash drive that you insert so that when the computer is turned on, you must have the flash drive in order for the uh, hard drive to kind of activate. Now the, the setup to encrypting everything is exactly the same. I'm going to go ahead and encrypt my um, flash drive because most of you guys will probably encrypt your flash drive anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then at the end of the video, I'll kind of show you guys what happens when you plug in your flash drive after it's encrypted. And then of course, how to unencrypt something. So whatever hard drive you're interested in or flash drive to encrypting, simply press the arrow next to this and you should see turn on BitLocker show up. Go ahead and click that. Now it's going to warn you not to remove your flash drive during the BitLocker setup, and that's highly suggested because it can corrupt the files. So you have a couple different options. You have using the smart card to unlock the drive, um, but like I would suggest is using a password. So go ahead and click on use a password and type in the password and then retype it in again. Press next and we'll continue on with the uh, encryption. Now what you want to do is choose how you want to back up your recovery key. So you have a couple different options. You can save it to your, your Microsoft account. So kind of save it online, which is a great option. 
you can save it to a file, which I'll be doing, or you can print it using your printer. Me personally, for the sake and the quickness of this video, I'm going to save it to a file, but they're all um, great ways of saving your encryption key. The nice thing about having a saved encryption key, you can see it right here now actually, is you can actually upload it yourself to the Google Drive or um, to your OneDrive or Dropbox or whatever you like to use and put it on multiple computers or even save it to your phone. So it can be in multiple places just in case you lose it. After that, you can choose how much of the drive you want to encrypt. And what means by that is you can have it encrypt only the day the disk space currently used. And that means that will uh, encrypt a area that's only currently being used. So if you have a newer um, PC or flash drive, that's the one that is suggested. Um, but or what you can do is, is encrypt the entire drive, so even space that's not actually used yet. Uh, that's a bit slower at, at doing, but it is good for computers and drives that are already in use. So you can basically choose um, pretty simply use a top one if the hard drive or PC is pretty much brand new um, with very few files on it or use the bottom one if you've been using it for a while. So I'll go ahead and use the top one because the flash drive that I just inserted has actually no files on it. So you click that, it'll tell you, um, are you sure you're ready to go? And pretty much click start encrypting and we'll go ahead and encrypt the flash drive. So depending on how fast um, your your flash drive USB section is and other factors that will take, that will um, depend on how long it takes. But as you can see, it just jumped up pretty fast. So and there you go, mine's actually done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the flash drive from my computer. and reinsert it. Now you notice right away, it says the drive is a bit locker protected. So when I click it, it's gonna make me type in the password. So we'll go ahead and type that in. And so I typed it in, it opened up and boom, it, I can see the one file that I have on the flash drive. Now if I go to this PC, you can see that um, on the icon for the flash drive, it shows a lock with a key and it's showing it's unlocked, which basically means it is bit locker protected, but currently the password is entered correctly, so I can access the files, all good to go. If I go ahead and add a file, as you guys can tell, it works perfectly fine, so no, no problems there. So now I'll go ahead and unplug it again. So you notice when I first plug it in, we have a gold icon here, basically showing that I cannot access it. So if you have to double click it, it's going to make me enter the password before I can access this. So like I said, guys, if you don't know the password, if someone steals your flash drive, they cannot access the files on that hard drive unless they know your password. So with that, you're done. You have successfully encrypted your flash drive or hard drive. So I'm going to quickly show you guys how to essentially um, unencrypt it or get rid of the password off the flash drive or hard drive that you already encrypted. So the first thing you want to do is simply plug it in and then unlock it by typing in its password. Now what you want to do is you can actually right click on the drive and go to manage BitLocker. And you'll see that for the drive that you have encrypted, it has much more options. You have backing up your recovery key, changing password, removing password, uh, smart card, turn off auto lock, um, or turn off BitLocker. So what you want to do is hit turn off BitLocker and it says it will be decrypted, so which one is hit turn off. And there you go, it will simply, as long as you type the password previously, go ahead and decrypt it, and then after that, your hard drive or USB flash drive will no longer require a password to be used. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any questions at all about encryption slash decryption, then let me know. Also, quick announcement, uh, I'm up I'm up to almost 47,000 subscribers and uh, next week me and my father will be actually starting to work on a new desk of mine it's gonna be huge it's me where my uh, all my editing's being done so I'm like, super excited to show you guys I'm probably gonna save it for a cool 50,000 uh, subscriber special so I'll have a cool rundown of basically 
how I make YouTube videos almost. So I plan on doing kind of a desk setup tour uh, once I have the desk completed and um, good to go. I have a lot of cool things planned and stored as like um, flash drives being able to plug it into the desk and working on the computer. A lot of cool cable management stuff and the desk is going to be huge. It's going to be like what, eight feet long. So like I said, I guess I'm really excited to show you guys the desk, hopefully um, for a 50k subscriber special video. So anyways guys though, stay tuned for that, um, subscribe if you haven't already, and go ahead and leave a comment below for a future video. And besides that guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next YouTube video. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.